Hello everyone, Gerald here. Welcome or welcome back to Studio Noi. So for today's video, we are going to make over another studio unit or another small unit. But the challenge sa unit na to is 20k lang yung gagastusin natin. So basically, the unit is up for rent. So pinapanit ito ng owner. Kaya lang, yung last na nag-rent sa kanya, medyo syempre na work out, may mga nasirang part. And then one thing, nas nalaglag yung kanya overhead cabinet. So basically, ang gagawin natin is i-upgrade natin yung unit by pink. Gagamit ulit tayo ng favorite nating white, which is nearly white. I-replace natin yung cupboards na nasira ko, yung overhead kitchen cabinet. And then, maglalagay tayo ng accessories na pasapas doon sa 20k. So, maglalagay din tayo ng uh, floating shelves. Itong nasa likod ko. So, basically, ito, actually, ito na yung unit na yun yung ginawa natin. So, makikita nyo yung process kung paano natin siya in-upgrade with only 20k. First day of our 20k challenge. So, the project we're gonna do today is this unit. So, it's a studio unit. So, we're gonna start the first day of the challenge. So, we're gonna start the first day of the challenge. So, we're gonna start the first day of the challenge. So, we're gonna start the first day of the challenge. So, we're gonna start the first day of the challenge. So, we're gonna start the first day of the challenge. So, we're gonna start the first day of the challenge. So, we're gonna start the first day of the challenge. So, we're gonna start the first day of the challenge. So, we're gonna start the first day of the challenge. So, we're gonna start the first day of the challenge. So, we're gonna start the first day ang gagawin muna natin is i-assemble is, muna natin itong Beckham Step Stool para meron tayong gamitin doon sa mga mataas na part na kailangan natin i-pick. So, kung napanood nyo yung ating part doon ng ating home makeover video, ito yung favorite kong Step Stool doon. Kasi sobrang flexible niya. Ang ganda niya. Ayan. Assemble muna natin. Right after we assemble ang ating steps to, we then started removing loose paints or yung mga natuklap. Itong part, may leak ito siya and I told the owner, to ask the management to repair kasi ang cost niya galing sa labas. We also removed the tile sticker that the previous renter installed. Nahulog yung original na cabinet kaya tinakpan nila kaso wala din sa hulog yung pagkalagay. Parts na na-damage ng paint, gagamitan natin siya nitong ready-to-use na wall putty. Nabili ko to siya sa Ace pero I think mabibili naman siya sa halos lahat ng hardware. Gumamit din tayo ng wire mesh doon sa mga parts na sobrang malala yung kanyang pag-uka or yung mga sira. And then for this part sa may AC since plastic yung nilagay nilang cover dito sa gilid, yung foam. So naglagay din tayo ng wire mesh para kumapit ang ating wall body. Bagay ng 
si second coating tayo ng ating wall body. Kasi as much as possible, kailangan covered yung buka para pag pininturahan natin siya, hindi na siya makakalata. Actually, after nito, kailangan pa natin siya li lihain or gamitan ng sandpaper para mag-ano siya, maging even out yung kanyang itsura. Hindi yung, eto katulad nito, medyo bako-bako pa siya. Bali, mag-start na tayo mag-paint muna doon sa mga areas na hindi naman kailangan na walang masiya para yung ibang part matapos na natin. Tapos, ang ginamit natin pa ng paint dito is Davis na nearly white. For the paint, since yung previous paint is hindi naman ganun ka-dark, umabot lang tayo ng third coating and nakaubos tayo ng dalawang gallons sa buong unit na siya, including na natin, included na yung toilet and bath. Mas better gumamit ng paper roller kasi mas konti yung sinisip-sip niyang paint. And aside from that, mas better yung kanyang result. So while waiting for the wall putty and paint to dry, sinimula na natin itong pag-assemble ng Naxhold Cabinet by IKEA na nabili uli natin from Furniture Source. Easy to install lang din ito. Meron naman siyang instructions on how to assemble. Kaya actually, kaya to ng isang tao. Same dito sa ginawa ko. It's our third day na today. So, mapapansin nyo medyo maganda na yung paint natin. Ayan. Pero, kailangan pa natin ulit ng isang coating para maging finish na yan. And then, yung kitchen, may i-install ko na ang ating cabinets. And then, yung kanyang open, I mean, yung kanyang, uh, what's this? Floating shelves. Install lang natin ang back part ng cabinet and after, we can now proceed sa pagmark at prepare ng wall na paglalagyan natin. Gumamit ako dito ng 1.5 inch na tox and screw as recommended sa manual. Ayan, ang assistant uli natin sa pag-install ng cabinet is our favorite steps tool. Sakto lang ang height niya sa paglalagyan mismo ng cabinet kaya perfect ang tanggaling niya. After natin matouch sa wall, next is to install the shelf and the cover.
after naman ma-align natin ang cover, lalagyan lang natin itong rubber stopper na kasama na din sa buong set. Same procedure with the cabinet. Nagbutas ulit tayo using a drill para sa screw nitong ating lock floating shelves by IKEA. And again, sa furnitures ulit natin ito na muna. Next up is mag-install na tayo ng ating curtain rod. Itong part na to ang nahuli since natagalan tayo magpatuyo ng ating wall potty. Kaya I decided na bumili ng polyester body filler or yung brand na ginagamit ko is Poly, Poly Tough. Mas durable kasi siya and fast drying. Kaya after a few minutes, na lihan na natin kagad siya and after na pinturahan na din. For our accessories, namili ulit tayo sa Wilcon and ang iba naman nakuha natin from All Home. We are now ready to style the unit.
This makeover is not the usual where we fully furnish the whole unit. Since it is for rent, the owner wanted minimal upgrade but still would make an impact and appeal to the renter as they would see this as a reflection on how they would see your maintenance. This would also increase the condo's value and will make a renter pay more money. Paint is might. Never estimate the power of a new paint. It is among the most affordable upgrades with the biggest return. Also, modernizing the kitchen doesn't need turning it upside down. Be realistic with the cost. The kitchen, or how messed up it looks, is a total deal breaker. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Maraming salamat.